I'm John Walton. I'm a professor of Old Testament at Wheaton College, and my specialty is understanding the Old Testament against the background of the ancient Near East. When we think about creation these days, we often think about our material world. And there's good reason why we should. We live in a scientific world where those kinds of questions are asked and answered and where we understand the world that way. But there are other ways you could ask the question about creation. There are other aspects of creation. And therefore, different cultures in different times might have different questions on their mind. In the ancient world, my research has suggested to me that they are much more interested in how God brings order to the cosmos. Instead of thinking about God's creating of the material cosmos, the question is not what they believe about God in general, but what, is, what story are they telling in Genesis 1? Are they telling the story about the material cosmos or are they telling the story about how God ordered the cosmos? When we talk about the places we live in, uh, we could talk about the house we live in um, and its roof and its foundation and its electricity and its air conditioning and all of those things. Or we could talk about that our dwelling place as a home. And we can talk about how we organize our home and order it to be our home, to function the way that we want it to. Both of those are origin stories, because for many people, the house was built long before they moved into it, but they took that house and they made it their home. And you could ask, which is the most important story to tell, the house story or the home story? And both of them are origins stories, how it came to be your home or how it came to be a house. Now, when we read Genesis 1, we tend to read it as a house story. In the ancient world, I would suggest they're reading it as a home story. How God ordered that cosmos for people to live in and, most importantly, for him also to live in. So he ordered it as a place of relationship between himself and the people that he created. And just because we want one kind of answer, doesn't mean that's the kind that Genesis is giving. They're going to give the answer that they think is most important. And based on what I just said about how God is ordering the cosmos as a place for a relationship between him and his people, that can arguably be seen as the more important story. That doesn't mean that God didn't make our material world. The question is not about what God did. The question is about what story are they telling? and we need to learn the lessons from the stories they're telling.